Hi. Hi. That uppercase letter lesson was really good. It was really good. Now we know how to make our uppercase letters, our capital letters. But there's other letters to learn. Like what? The lowercase letters. They're smaller. And we're going to use that dotted blue line that's in between the black line as a guide. Okay, let's learn. All right. And remember, if you have a paper like this with those little blue dashes, that's going to be your guide when you make these letters at home. Here we go. First lowercase letter is the A. The A of the lowercase letter is going to touch this blue dash line and this black bottom line. And it goes like this. It's going to be kind of like a, a C, which is a magical curve that we're going to make. So we're going to make a, a magical curve around. We're going to close it and then come down and give it a little leg so it doesn't roll away because we don't want our A to roll away. Curve around in a circle, come down and give it a leg. All one movement. Your pencil never leaves the paper. It stays on there the whole time. So now we go to B. B, we start at the very top and we make a big line down and then we stay connected to the paper and we circle around so it's just a line down, up and circle round. That's easy. A, B, now we do C. Magic C is a curve. It curves and touches the middle line, and then it comes and touches the bottom line. Our magic C, and we use that magic C for our D, because we're going to start our D with a magic C. But then we're going to go all the way up to the top and then all the way to the bottom. Now we have A, B, C, D. Now A and C only touch the middle line, but B and D touch the top line. And they all touch that bottom line. All right, here comes the E. We slide to the right, touch the middle, and then come down to the bottom. Slide to the right, touch the middle, touch the bottom. It's also like a, a magic C, but we have to slide to the right first. A, B, C, D, E, F. F again is going to touch the top line. So we've got to start here in this space in between the middle and the top. We're going to start and we're going to hook up. We're going to go hook up and then come all the way down and cross the middle. Hook up all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, and across the middle. All right, next is G. You can make your magic C, where you curve around like a C, but then you're gonna go up to the middle. And now we're gonna go below the line and give it a hook. Magic C, up to the middle below the line and give it a hook. That's our first letter that goes below the line, but there will be more. H, start at the very top, long line down, curve up and give it a hump. H, I, one little line down, and a dot, J. We're going to start at the middle, go down. Now we're going to go below the line and give it a hook with a dot. Now we have two that go below the line. My voice gets very low when I go below the line. Next is K. We're going to do one big line down. Now we're going to kick in from the middle. For the capital, we kick in from the top. For the little one, we kick in from the middle. Kick in kick out. L, so simple. One line down. M, one line down from the middle. Give it a hump. Give it a hump. The M has two humps. The H has one. The H has a long line. The M has a short line. Now the N is going to have a short line too. And one hump. Short line down. 
in one hump. N. O. Circle around from the middle. Circle around, touch the bottom, go back to the middle. P. One line down, curve around. Q. Now we're going to make the circle on the other side. The P, the line is on the left. The Q is going to be on the right, but we got to make a magic C first. Magic C up to the middle, down. And I like to give my little Q a little check mark on the edge. Some Qs will not have a check mark. Some people make them different. That's okay. I'm going to make mine with a little check mark so it looks a lot different than that P. Otherwise, they look like they'd be twins looking in a mirror. But I want my Q to have a little hook. So you can make yours with a little hook for now. R. One line down. Go back up. A little hook around. Now, it's not a big hump like the H or the M or the N. It's just a little hook. S. It's just like the capital S. Curve up. Touch the middle. Curve down. Touch the bottom. T. We're going to start here in the middle of this space between middle and top. We're gonna to come straight down. So it's not a long line, it's not a short line, it's a medium line, and then we're gonna cross it in the middle. U, down, curve up, but then we don't want them to fall over, so we give them a little leg. The big U doesn't have the little leg. The little U has the little leg. V, Angle into the bottom, angle up to the middle. W. Angle to the bottom, up to the middle. Angle to the bottom, up to the middle. X. Chris cross at the middle. The capital crisscrosses from the top. This one crisscrosses from the middle. Y. This one, we're going to do a little line in, and then we're gonna do a long line that goes below the line. And then V, slide to the right, angle to the left, slide to the right. Now, we have all of our lowercase letters. Notice that only one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven little lowercase letters go above that middle line with a line or a hook. This has a hook, this has a line, a line, a line. This has a half a line. Two of them have dots. And then let's see how many go below the bottom. Below. One, two, three, four, five. So that will help you with your writing is you, if you remember some letters go above the line in the middle. Only a few letters go below the line at the bottom. Yeah, those are some good rules to remember, Danny. So when you're writing, I want you to practice. And especially when you write your name. Use a capital for the first letter. And then the lo lower letters for all the rest. That's right. All the rest of the letters should be lowercase. One capital at the beginning lowercase for the rest.